sarissa, okay? Chinese sarissa is just one of the many varieties that you can grow for bonsai. Uh, bonsai got its start actually in China over 2,000 years ago. Uh, the Buddhist monks brought this belief of bonsai and took it to Japan about 1,200 years ago. The Japanese are the ones that actually practice the art of bonsai. Uh, bonsai is literally translated in tree in a tray. Okay? So you can bonsai anything that has a woody trunk, that doesn't mind repeated trimming, doesn't mind being wired and shaped. All of you got two sizes of wire that you can, you're going to be able to to play with your trees in the future. Um, this particular type of tree does very well outdoors. Most bonsai trees do very well outdoors. Uh, bonsai trees literally are stunted by the little pots, by repeatedly trimming them and wiring them. Your goal as future budding bonsai artists <laughs> is to keep your trees miniaturized but healthy it's very important to keep these little trees healthy one of the things that we do by keeping our trees healthy is by is watering right everybody knows how to water a plant correct yeah. when you water you want to water you want to water till it drains out the bottom freely you don't want to just put a little bit of water on it you want to water till it drains out the bottom fully Okay, that's very important. Also, when you water, you don't want to do it rarely. Uh, we water our bonsai trees every single day. Okay? When you bring your sarissas home, you'll notice that they have rocks on the surface. That's actually that's actually all throughout the soil. There's no boat there's no regular potting soil in there. It's actually like little mini rocks. So you have to water it on a regular basis. The reason why we have a, the rocks is because this tree is going to be in a container its entire life. You're going to actually repot this every few years. Those sarissas that you have are good for two more years. You're not going to have to repot them. But you'll take it out, comb the roots, trim the roots, and put it back in the same container every two years. Okay? This particular one is a little older than the ones you guys. See how, how large that trunk is? Wow. The trees you guys have are are four years old. This one is about seven years old. Whoa. Okay? That looks cool. Okay. As you're watering this every day, it's growing. The trees that you guys have just trimmed, but you have to trim them again. As they grow, you see this, these shoots? As, as the trees grow, there's a, uh, trees actually create a hormone. I don't know if you've, ever, if you've done um, uh, horticulture yet, but, but the hormone builds up on the tips of these, of these little shoots. And when you trim these shoots with your shears, you actually redistribute that back in the plant and get it to back bud tighter. That's how you keep these small is by periodically as they grow you go in there with your shears and you trim them again and again here's here's another little secret do you guys have any younger brothers or sisters or older brothers and sisters great great so you can take these cuttings you see this little cutting and you can actually set this in a pot this time of year and you can actually root this so you can give this to your brother or sister and now they're four years behind you <laughs> but you guys both can try bonsai even this is how all your you're muted there we go can you hear me yes yeah. or can you hear me yes let me try to <laughs> so every one of your trees started this big four years ago that's how big they were so don't be afraid to put these in like a little potting just regular potting soil just sink them in potting soil put them underneath your bench and water them every day and these will root and once they root you can give them to your friends or your or your family 
as your tree's growing, once these get nice and shaggy, you'll come out here with a nice pair of shears and you'll trim all of these shoots back. An easy way to tell how, how soon you trim is once you get about eight or 10 sets of leaves, it's time to trim. You don't have to trim if it has a nice canopy like yours has right now, but in another month, you guys are gonna need to trim your trees. That's just a part of, of keeping it stunted is by trimming it on a regular basis. Don't be afraid to trim your trees because that's how you keep them, that's how you keep them small, but it also is how you keep them growing fast. Another thing that you guys are gonna wanna do is sometimes with your bonsai trees, you'll see, especially this variety, the Chinese sarissa, you'll see these little shoots that grow from the base. See that? Can you guys see it? Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay. You want to trim that off. Okay. You're going to want to trim these shoots off so you can see the trunk. Bonsai trees are the art of illusion. When you have a tree that you're trying to look, you want it to look old, what we want to see is a nice is a nice base and when you have those little shoots sticking up it kind of ruins the illusion if you look at this it has a nice canopy and has interesting trunk line that's what you guys want to achieve with your trees your trees have already started to get that it's your job yes. to continue it um bonsai as a rule are not only repeatedly trimmed but periodically we'll even wire these branches and shape them the wire is like braces on your teeth once the branch is set you take the wire off the wire is not permanent it's just temporary we use a pair of wire cutters to cut the wires off the first thing you guys should worry about is keeping your tree alive and happy the first thing, the most important thing is what? Keep Water, right? Water and then sun. Yeah. Watering is very important. The second thing is the fertilizer. Every one of you got two of these fertilizer cups, correct? In your trees? Inside of these is fertilizer. You haven't seen them yet? Okay. Well, you guys are each going to have two of these in the back okay you're gonna have two of these fertilizer cups in in your in your bonsai the inside of the fertilizer cups is actually fertilizer this is called sun coat you need to replace this every four months you take it you dump it get some more fertilizer i don't care what kind of fertilizer but a good granule fertilizer is good and you put it back on the surface of your of your pot every four months that's the second thing that you that's the second thing that you have to do to keep this tree happy the third thing is you need to have this where it gets sunlight yeah does anybody get does anybody have a nice area outside yeah yeah, yeah. good if you have an outdoor area if you can put this outside where it gets full sun and you water it every day this tree is going to live a very 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 long time if you don't water it and you don't have it outdoors it's going to have it's going to have problems it's always important that you have it's always important that you that you give it the right water right fertilizer and right sunlight okay okay good the way you're going to look at your trees, okay, once you get them, the very first thing you want to look at is what we call, it's called nabari. That's the Japanese word for the radial base on a bonsai tree. It's called nabari, okay? The nabari is what's at the base of the, of the tree. Ideally, you want the tree to have a nice flare. Is any of you familiar with seeing do you have any big giant trees on your yard yeah yeah 
Yes, yeah. I have a huge one. It's a big great. old oak. Do you? I have a forest in my backyard. That's great. So when you look at your when you look at your big trees, and they have these at the base, they have this flare of roots. You can see it at the base. That's what we try to recreate with our bonsai trees. Because remember, bonsai needs to look like a big tree in miniature. So one of the things that we try to do is have a really pretty base at the at, at the at the base. The second thing we need to do is make sure that we have an interesting trunk line. If you look, you can see that this has a nice trunk line from bottom all the way to the top. See that? And it has branches just like a real tree. You want your trees to have branches. You want them to have movement. You can take that wire and you can shape it and you can give it some movement and make it look really old because bonsai trees that are really old are more visually interesting. People are excited to see your little budding bonsai tree. Okay. Does any of you have any questions? Yes. Yes. Gideon, come here. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead with the uh, in the front there with the. Oh, oh, oh. He has he has a question. Black shirt. First. Oh, go ahead, Katie. Um, Stay here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. How long does your tree live? If you water it every day and give it sun. Bonsai trees. I I have some bonsai trees here at the shop that are over a hundred and fifty years old. What? Most people live. Oh, people. <laughs> yeah. Some many, many, many bonsai trees. A properly taken care of bonsai tree will live longer than uh, the same type of tree in the wild. Because if a bonsai tree has a disease, we take care of it. If it needs water, we water it. So a properly cared bonsai lives a very long time. Yes. Uh, next. The young girl with the blue shirt. Right here. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Get, get what in. if you don't, like, if you're on a trip and you don't, you can't water it? Get a friend to. That's very, that's a very good question. It's really important that you have somebody trustworthy to water your tree for you. If you guys go on a trip, the good thing is you happen to have a really big bonsai nursery right down the street. <laughs> and if you need somebody to babysit your tree, Anyone under 12 years old, we babysit their trees for free. Oh, so you can bring your bonsai tree to us, and we'll make sure we water it for you while you're gone. Okay. It's You can also have a fellow student do it. Young lady, young lady with the light blue shirt, she's really, she really has a hard question. Yes. Hi. Um, what happens if it, like, rains too much, and then if it rains too much, will it affect the plant? And then it gets it all over the plant. Will it affect the plant? That's, that's a very good question as well. If, if you get a lot of rain with a bonsai tree, the whole purpose of us putting the bonsai tree in the rocks is any excess of water drains right through. So you don't have any problems with it getting too much rain because all the excess drains through. The one thing about if it does rain really heavy, you don't have to water that day because the rain takes care of it. But if if you get constant rain you're going to get a lot of growth and you're so you're going to have to trim the, the growth up pretty good uh the young lady with the uh, sparkly shirt there in the back come just straight through here quickly fast 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 in the red pants she's coming <laughs> go ahead so my question is um hi uh, my question is that if if it uh, if it um, if it's like snowing, so, is, so is, it, it's not is it gonna snow in Florida, Lily? Now, sometimes when you go to a faraway place and it snows, sometimes. So he's telling, I think he's telling us that we can keep it outside here in Florida. But are you asking what about other places? Yeah. yeah. You know, that, okay. that, 
Does it live in Ottawa? Right. That's that's a good question. In in that's that's a good question. In Japan, um, many trees actually will have six inches of snow on top of them. They're fully hardy. So when you come to our nursery, we have about 30 or 40 percent of our nursery is tropical where if it gets below freezing like it does here in florida a couple times a year we have to cover them up north i teach i teach classes up 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 north in michigan twice a year they have apple trees and pine trees that outside that they'll have a foot of snow on them right now and they're fine the trees are totally hardy and they're totally fine um so that's a good question if this particular tree, these cerises, if we do freeze here in Florida, you can leave these outside. They're good to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the young boy with the with the blue shirt. You have a question? Just stay right there. Okay. Um, if a tree gets a chemical on it, like bleach or something, will it uh will it automatically kill it, or is there a way to treat that? There's a way to treat it. That's a good. That's a good question. If somebody, if you, a lot of times when people put their bone trees, they put them close to the house, and they'll have roofers that'll come and they'll put bleach on the roof. If bleach hits this tree, or any strong chemical, it's really important for you to water it thoroughly. Get the water hose out, rinse it very well, water it thoroughly. Hopefully, the tree will will will, will live through it. If you don't wash it fast enough, you absolutely can kill a tree with bleach. Yes, but if, if you if you take care of it, water it well, make sure you flush it really heavily with water, let it drain out freely, and probably re will recover. Bonsai trees, if you give them the, the the water, the fertilizer, and the sunlight, bonsai trees are actually pretty tough. They take a lot of abuse. Um, Ryder, right there with the green shirt with her hand raised really high. Can't see what it is kind of thing. And then Ryder come over. He's coming. If you, if you have to put it in a, Okay, sure. That's fine. If you have to put it in a bigger pot, do you have to get rocks or just soil? It's a good question. Um, bonsai trees are always in bonsai soil. We we don't put them in regular potting soil. However, if the tree continues to grow visually bonsai is the art of illusion right everything that we do with our bonsai trees is artificial but it shouldn't look that way one of the secrets that we that we do with our bonsai trees is, is proportion so if your tree is say 12 inches tall your pot will be two-thirds that height so if it's a 12 inch tall tree does everybody know their math really well here yeah. Does anybody know fractions yet? Yeah. If you have a 12 inch tall tree, perfect. If you have a 12 inch tall tree, you want to put it in a pot that's two thirds that 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 dimension. What's two thirds of 12? Oh, eight. Okay, go ahead. Eight. Eight, exactly, exactly. So if you have a 12 inch tall tree, you'd put it in an eight inch pot. Let's say you have it in a 21, if it's a 21 inch tall tree, what size pot would you want to put it in? 7 and 14 inches. Oh no, yeah, 14 Go ahead, 14. the one who's raising his hand. Right. Oh, exactly. Oh, you guys are on it. I like it. So a lot of people don't realize this, but with bonsai, there's a lot of math in it. It, it is art and it is, it is art, but it's also horticulture. And it's also illusion. So in order for us to properly do the illusion of making the tree look like in miniature, you have to make it look like a way a, way a full size tree grows in miniature. Um, the two thirds rule is, is pretty good. Um, go ahead. Right, right in the middle there, right young here. gentleman. There, but there's someone right here that yes, was sir. waiting his turn. Um, so if like you said a type okay, of- Okay, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. You said a type of water, which type of water? For what? For like the tree. For watering the tree? I'm yeah, sorry, which like type of water? Yeah, like this fridge the or rainwater. You can you can actually you know, that's a that's a good question. That's a good question. In Japan, they'll actually have a water basin that they use to capture the rainwater from their houses. And they'll use rainwater to water. However, you can water with any type of water you want. I wouldn't use distilled water. 
because believe it or not, distilled water can leach nutrients out of the soil. I would use regular drinking water or rain water or even just city water is fine. That's a good question. Every, every one of these questions are good. Uh, someone else had their hand raised? Kaden. Um, if you yeah, were, right there in the middle. If you were to um, um, like have like water, you said you could use any water, but what if it's like dirty water? Yeah, you don't want to use you don't want to use dirty water, and the reason why is it, if dirty water has sand in it, it can clog up the pores in the bonsai soil. So you don't want to use muddy water or real dirt, little real dirty water, but you can actually use water that's been setting in a basin for weeks with no problem. A young lady right there uh, standing up with the with the sweatshirt on. Go ahead. Um, where does the name come from? Yeah, go ahead. Where does the name come from? Bonsai is actually, yep, good question. The bonsai is actually a Japanese name. It's the bonsai, literally translated, is tree in a tray. It actually is derived in China. The word is pinjing, um, but pinjing, literally translated, is landscape in a tray. You guys ever see the quote unquote bonsai trees at a box store? Well, they'll have like little figurines glued, and they'll have glued gravel and. They'll have like little huts or little little fishermen on the on the bonsai tree. Has anybody ever seen that yet? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's actually you have okay. So that that's actually a, the Chinese um, influence. That's more pinjing. Bonsai. We really want to focus on this the tree uh, specifically. We don't want to focus on the figurines. We, we we usually will put the figurines off to the side as an accent to the bonsai tree. Do you, have a, do you have a question right there standing up? I do, I do. I wanted to ask where Yes, ma'am. Yes. How, Go ahead. how are you? Thank you for coming here. Um, or not coming, but anyway, on the screen. Do you where did no you problem. Get, yeah, where'd you get the hundred and fifty <laughs> year the hundred and fifty year bonsai tree? You said there were some at your place that were hundred and fifty years. Oh. That's a good question. Good question. Yes, yes. So so that's a really good question. Bonsai really has only been practiced in the United States for about 70 years. Right after World War II, when the GIs were coming back from Japan, they were really enthralled with this. Um, after when J Japan was recovering from the war, they figured out that there was a there was a, 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 a desire again for bonsai. So actually, we started getting some Japanese um, Americans starting to create bonsai uh, nurseries here in the United States in the 40s and 50s. So the art of bonsai hasn't been around for very long. So we obviously we wouldn't have a lot of trees that are really that old here. However, many bonsai trees are collected. And when we go out into the swamps or in Colorado, we'll go into the mountains or in uh, Michigan, we'll go out into the swamps or here in Florida, we'll go out into the swamps or we'll go down to the Keys. You can find some ancient material that you can collect for bonsai. Um, they, in Japan, they actually collect these thousand-year-old junipers in the mountains. They're, they're like in a little crack or crevice that they would actually risk life and limb and collect these thousand-year-old plants for bonsai. So the first age is the age of the wood. I have some bold cypresses that are 40 to 50 years old that we just collected two weeks ago. So they haven't been in training for bonsai for 40 or 50 years. They've only been in training for six months, but the wood is old. I have a buttonwood here that actually is over 150 years old. It's an ancient buttonwood with a lot of dead wood and it's amazing, but it's only been in training for about 40 years. Can you, but it, the wood is over 150 years old. Can you tell them, how do you know? Uh, yes, there's a, you have your hand up. This is Ms. Diedrichs. I'm just I'm wondering, can you tell us how do you know the age of the tree? How do you know it? So that, that's a good question. There's a there's a few ways you can tell the age of the tree. Um, one is if you collect the tree and you cut the tree and it's a deciduous tree, which means it loses its leaves in the winter, it has distinct rings every year. So when you cut the tree, and a lot of times it'll be a 20 foot tall tree. We'll cut it down to, you know, four, three to four feet. You can actually count the rings to see exactly how old that tree is. 
Now that, that doesn't work with tropical trees as well because a tropical ficus will start and stop growing two, three, four times a year. So the ring method doesn't work very good on tropical trees down here in Florida. But for deciduous trees, it works very well. It's really easy to tell, you know, how old a tree is specifically. Another way to, you can tell how old it is, is if it's been documented, if that person has owned that tree over the years and can, can show you pictures and photographic evidence of when it was collected, that's another easy way to dictate how old they are. I can tell you exactly how old these cerises are that everyone got today because I planted them four years ago. <laughs> so I can tell you exactly how old they are. That is something you want to be careful of. Um, however, just like la asking a lady her age, you know, they always say you shouldn't ask a lady her age, it's rude. Um, bonsai trees are more of what does that age look like? I want the tree to look older than it is actually because when I'm walking out into the gardens and I see a beautiful 300, 400 year old tree, that's the tree that I'll stop and I'll stare at and I'll look at and I'll be enthralled with and I'll meditate under. It won't be the 20 year old tree, even though they're both trees, you can, you can certainly do that. But with bonsai, we want someone to stop and be enthralled with it by giving it that illusion of age. That's where the wiring comes in, making the branches appear much more aged and, 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 uh, and contorted. By the way, we, we have over 15,000 trees here in the nursery all different ages and sizes wow. and developments. Um, so if any of you come out, it's a shame we had this COVID, we could have done something like this, you know, we could have done a field trip out here. Um, you can see different ages and, and, and how you work it. Some of the branches we can only ramify once a year. So if you have 10 years of ramification, it's very easy to say this tree's been styled for 10 years. Someone has their hand up in the back there behind the uh, plastic. While he's coming, I'm gonna just tell you, I will post for my students um, your location so their parents could bring them by to see. Did you hear? Sure. Okay. Sure. That'd be great. Well, that answers Go ahead. question. Oh, that was his question actually. Can you tell us where you are? Oh yeah, sure. So we're actually right down the street from, from your guys' school. Um, I, I've been in business for 17 and a half years. Uh, I've been doing bonsai for 29 years. Um, I bought this property 10 years ago, February 11th. Um, we are, our address is 2745 Audubon Avenue, right by the Highland Park Fish Camp. We have 12 acres here. Um, I moved here 10 years ago and it's, I mean, we have a beautiful three acre botanical garden that you can walk through. We have a 95,000 gallon koi pond that you can come see the fish. If you come with your, with your, uh, with your parents, I'll feed the fish while you're here. You can see the fish. Um, and we have over 15,000 bonsai trees you can take a look at. Wow. It's, you know, it's just fun stuff, fun stuff to do. Micah. Yes. You have your hand up in the front there. Do you have to Sorry, you've had your hand up a long time. I apologize. <laughs> Do you have to water it every day or can it be like every two days? So that's a, that's a good question. Right now, because of all the heat, we're starting to have like 75, 80 degrees. I suggest that you would water every day. If it gets cooler in the winter, like when it gets below 60 degrees for the day, you can get away with watering every other day. No problem. Um, it's really about the evaporation because it's in that granular consistency. You don't want that to ever get bone dry. It can get pretty dry, but you don't want it bone dry. If you're concerned about watering and you're not sure about it, you can take a toothpick and you can sink the toothpick. You can sink the toothpick inside of the pot. You can sink a toothpick inside of the pot and then pull that toothpick out and feel it. If the toothpick is moist, you don't have to water yet. However, in the summer, it's almost impossible to overwater because it's in bonsai soil and it drains away freely. And it's better to air on too much water than not enough in the summer. In the winter, it's actually better to air on the side of getting it a little bit dry in between. Yes, sir, with the red shirt. You have a question, ma'am? Nice Can't tell. Get have a mask on. It's a boy. It's Bradley. Go ahead, it's quick. It's a boy boy. Hey. Sir, sir, thank you. Yeah, sorry, it's, it's hard to tell. 
How much water do you <laughs> He's answered that question. Yes, sir. He's answered that. How much water do you, you yeah you you it's good it, it's good we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go over it again you want to water till it drains freely out the bottom see these wire water holes yep you really want to water till it drains freely out you don't want to just give it a little bit of water so when if you bring this outside and you have a hose don't be afraid to water if you come to the shop i'll show you i'll show you how to water specifically um if we had done this outside i could have showed you but it was it's 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 too hard on the zoom well, we really. Do any of you have any other questions? Somebody has their hand up right there in the back. Kyla, just stand right there and say it nice and loud. Um, if if I were planting it, could I like plant plant it in soil and still have it? They said I could it yeah. to be in a pot yeah. still. That's a great question. That, that's a that that's a great question. Bonsai, bonsai literally translated as tree in a tray. So if it's in the ground, it's not a bonsai tree. The Japanese actually had very small yards. They would be very small pieces of property. Um, and they would take these trees and have them in their back six by nine back, back, backyard space to kind of get them in touch with nature. They would have them in a little container so they could have their little piece of nature. Okay. I, I don't know if your uh, teachers talked about Wabi Sabi yet, but but bonsai has the philosophy of sabi, of appreciating everything that's ephemeral. Everything, everything turns to dust, right? Trees grow and age and die, but there's a beauty in, in that journey, that start from a seed to an ancient tree. There's that whole journey in between. So to be able to be a part of that and to be able to, to see that and, 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 and help develop it as a budding bonsai artist that you guys are all going to be, that's, that's a real blessing. It's real fun to do that. It's really, it's, 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 it's really educational and it's, you know, enriching. I think we'll take yes. one more question. You have okay, a question? Go ahead. Um, what is your favorite? Um, okay. Sorry. What is your favorite tree out of them all? Like bonsai tree. That's a really good, it's a really good question. Every one of these questions were great. So bonsai, changes throughout the years it, it, it this time of year my favorite bonsai is an azalea in another month my favorite bonsai will be the sarissa because all of these by the way all your sarissas will have these beautiful flowers all over the place in another month it'll be spectacular you guys are going to love your sarissas in a month it's going to be it's going to they smell nice they're awesome but they'll look green the, the rest of the other 10 months so bonsai trees all all shine at different times of the year so every month i have a favorite tree um they all, they actually display their trees it's called a tokonama display in japan they'll display their tree throughout the year they'll have it outside growing and then they bring it inside for one or two days just to display it when it's really beautiful and then they take it back out and then they do it again with a different tree and that's their artwork they have a living tree artwork on their wall you know, specifically to show off. One last question. Go ahead. Um, I have a sister in this class, and um, should I label my trees so then we know which trees which? Because if it grows like almost the same, would we be able? To We're gonna grow? label all the trees so that you all know which tree is which. Yeah, it's. Yeah, that, that, that's smart to lay, but I will tell you that if you look at every one of those trees, they're all different. Every one of those are totally different. Some of you have a little two tree forest. Some of you have a single tree. Some of you have a three tree clump. They're all beautiful. They're all little one of a kind. You know, uh, they're basically like snowflakes. Every bonsai tree is its own tree. They're all individual. You, I can tell you when you look at your trees, you will know your trees from your neighbor's tree in a second, in another month. Once you get, because every one will have different branches, every one will be its own one of a kind piece of art, for sure. We really appreciate you coming in and sharing with us today. And, and I'm sure that we might have questions as we move forward with caring for our trees. Thank you. 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 All right. No problem. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Yep. Bye. I don't know that.
Good luck. Thank you. Good luck on your bullseye journey. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye.